Okay, going back to mode, on the third line, we get to choose between radian and degree calculation. This is really important for trig functions. So we'll quit, go to the home screen, and see what happens when we calculate the cosine of pi. Oh, the cosine of pi is negative 1. Now, we can go to mode and select degrees and quit to go to the home screen and we'll do the same calculation. Calculate the cosine of pi, this time in radians. Notice it's not the same number. Okay, this is very, very important because so many students get frustrated because when they do trig functions, it seems their calculator is giving them the wrong values. So whenever you're using sine, cosine, tangent, or inverse sine, inverse cosine, etc., just make sure your calculator's in the correct mode. Radians usually are associated with pi or fractions thereof. Degrees are usually 30, 45, 60, 90, etc.